Good morning, Reavers. I'm Daniel. This is Liza, and here she is feeding the axolotl babies that we have have been trying to raise. This is our first time keeping axolotls, let alone trying to raise the babies. And I don't actually know what the babies are called. Liza, do you remember the little fries or something? Nope. But you guys can see them there in the bowl. And she's trying to keep them very happy with the correct temperature, food, lighting, and everything else. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have got surprised pets and then last minute um, end up buying like a litter box for a cat that somebody dropped off or a light for a fish tank or, you know, it happens. So these are our Sephora frag tanks. Um, we're hoping to have some new frags in here by the end of the week. We're just checking salinity and functionality of the water flow and all that stuff. And we also have one over here. This is our frag cart and we'll have corals in here as we start moving from our other systems. So hopefully by the end of the week, you guys will see this and we're gonna hang one of the Orphix over here for now, one of the Atlantic V4s. So that should really make look good in here. Um, and we're gonna be running canister filters for the time being until our new sumps come in. So we got some very special sumps for you guys for all these carts. I cannot wait to show these off. Um, I will be posting a few pictures of what they are on Instagram later, so make sure you guys follow us if you want to check out what they are. Um, hopefully, they will be delivered <clears throat> and um, here by the weekend, so we'll see how that goes. But the reason for this video, which I just wanted to throw in here and show you guys, is our crazy RODI system, which we keep beefing it up. I went a little overkill on it, but better safe than sorry. So. If you guys want an explanation of that RDI system, let me know and I'll show you what, what goes on there. But we are gonna simplify those tubing. We did just get our delivery today. Um, so we got a whole bunch of goodies from Marine Depot so we can actually put this thing together. We are making water, um, which is crazy how fast that system makes water. I think it's 300 gallons a day. So it surprisingly fills up a 35 gallon bucket pretty fast. Uh, you guys can do the math. Um, so these are our RDI uh, containers. This is gonna be for fresh water on the left and then salt water on the right. And what we just got in today to make these things all work is, I'm sure you've heard of it. They call this the marriage saver. Anyone who's had a fish tank with a sump or an auto top off system that has flooded, um, it does happen. So this is a great way to protect that from happening. So it's got like a, a great redundant features. I always add a float on top of it so it does have its shut off system which is a little solenoid here I already opened the box for you guys so you can see what it looks like but the only thing I'm a little disappointed is this kit didn't come with like a mounting bracket for that um, that solenoid is pretty heavy I would like to see if it mounted somewhere but they did give you this cool clip for your RODI hose to fit on and clip on the side of your tank so that part's pretty cool but um, you'll get to see that as it comes together. But this part's really tiny. So the magnet comes off and will actually, let me see if I can focus this a little bit better for you guys. Um, yeah, this magnet comes off in the sensor and then I guess when the water hits this, it has some kind of optical um, thing. So you just use the magnets to hold it on the side of the container and it works pretty easy. That way you can stick it, if I was wanted to, on the side of this, um, trash can so instead of drilling and putting in a float if I'm doing something temporary I could actually just click that on the side so that's that's pretty cool and it has a couple other features for your auto top off system which I will have to learn about because I have yet to use it but this is the controller very simple I think it's for like filling um, your tank or for when you do a water change or something if you want to turn off your pump so you don't want to make water and have water going into your trash can if you're trying to mix salt in it and then you're going to empty it and fill up your tank so it's got a pause feature so that that's cool um, another cool thing i wanted to show you guys since i'm over here i do have these awesome wrenches you do not want to damage your new fittings and a lot of people tend to just use an adjustable wrench or some kind of pliers um, like these over here which i do not recommend using because they're just beast and they'll shred your beautiful fittings but these uh, rubber wrenches come in handy a lot of the time. 
So great to have. I have a set of two, a small one and a large one, and they'll basically work on any any of these fittings, the bulkheads. Um, so you don't need one of those metal bulkhead wrenches. You can just use that rubber one. So that's that, guys. That's my quick little update. Um, stay tuned for more. I will be testing out another cool little gadget here later on. Is a Wi-Fi digital microscope. This is an Amazon special. So I don't know what the quality is going to be like. There wasn't any reviews on it, but it looks pretty awesome just from the just from opening the box. But if we can check out and look at the you know the brine shrimp a little bit closer with this microscope and get some cool pictures, that'll be awesome. But if you guys are really paying attention, you can see the giant heater that I have stuck in here. I didn't have any of the smaller ones available, so <laughs> desperate times call for desperate measures. So we had to keep the water 80 degrees to hatch the brine shrimp, and that's what we did. So now one of the concerns we were going to have is that if in such a small area and a heater that size would put off too much heat and actually cook the brine shrimp. So if that happened, we were going to put it inside a bag, a bag with water just to help regulate that temperature a little bit more comfortably because heaters tend to have a two degree switch where they kick on and they kick off, you know. So that can be, um, that can be painful. But all right guys, as always stay tuned. Totally blanked out there for a second. I was like, hmm. As always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Stay tuned until next time. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And thank you for being part of the Coralus community.